Greetings from Autoturn. This video will cover the full disassembly of the Autoturn Flow 5 liquid heater. To do this, we are going to need the following tools. A Torx T25 key, a small flat screwdriver, a Phillips size 2 screwdriver, a 4mm Allen key, and a 12mm open-ended spanner. First, we are going to remove the coolant input-output elbows. Using the Torx T25 key, unscrew the bolt between both coolant elbows. Take both coolant elbows off. With a small, flat-end screwdriver, remove both sealing O-rings. Release the three fixed points of the sensor cover to remove it. With the size 2 Phillips screwdriver, unscrew both screws and release the control unit. Lift the control unit to get to the connectors. Take off the glow plug crimp connectors. For this heater, the glow plug polarity works both ways. Next, remove the air pump wires. Release the screws in these connectors behind the silicone. Don't forget the order by colours for these wires. If you are not sure about the correct order when reassembling the heater, you can find it in the repair manual. Moving on, remove the flame sensor wires. Remember, the black wire goes in the connector marked with a black dot. Then remove the temperature sensor wire set. After this is done, carefully remove the control unit. Following this, we are going to remove the temperature sensor set. With the Torx T25 key, unscrew the clamp that holds the sensors in place. When reassembling the heater, it's important to remember the position of this clamp. Higher side to the air pump side. Slowly remove the temperature sensors by rotating them forwards and backwards. Next, we carefully remove the glow plug with a 12mm open-ended spanner. Be careful not to break the wires off the glow plug. Now, with the small flat screwdriver, remove the glow plug bushing. When completed, put the heater down with the air pump cover facing down. With the 4mm Allen key, unscrew the four bolts that hold the casing and heat exchanger. Remove the bolts and take off the heat exchanger. Please note, remember to replace the heat exchanger gasket after repair. Carefully using the small flat screwdriver, push the rubber gasket inside the air pump casing to release the combustion chamber. Take out the combustion chamber. Now, push in the rubber gasket for the flame sensor and take out the flame sensor wires. This part is the brushless air pump. And this is the combustion chamber, where you can see the glow plug evaporating screen inside. After that, with the Torx T25 key, we will remove the flame sensor. Now we can see the glow plug screen close up from the combustion chamber. When replacing an evaporating screen, it must be put in correctly. The hole inside the screen has to be located in between the fuel line and the small opening on top. Next, we will separate the casing from the heat exchanger. With the small flat screwdriver, get in between both parts and pry them apart. Remove the casing from the heat exchanger. 
Remember to change this O-ring seal after repairing. The heater has now been disassembled. For more information about our products, please visit our website, autoterm.com.